Take a systematic approach to doing your pre-flight checks. Start on the outside of the aircraft and work your way in. Begin with the propellers and motors. Check each prop for damage such as cracks and chips. Match the correct propeller to its corresponding motor. They are marked black and silver. Lock the propeller into place. There is no need to over tighten as these propellers lock in the opposite direction of rotation, so they are self tightening propellers. Give the motor a spin and listen out for any grinding or resistance. Repeat this process for each propeller and motor. Now check the top of the frame for any signs of obvious damage. Check that your registration marks are clean and visible and that all of your vents are open. We can now move on to the sides of the drone. Check for any obvious signs of damage like cracks or frame separation. Do this for each side whilst also ensuring that all vents are still clean and open. When you get to your battery compartments, look inside for any objects and make sure the battery contacts are clean with no signs of charring or damage. Also inspect surrounding wiring for any damage or melting. Ensure that your registration plate is clean, visible and affixed to the drone. Turn the drone upside down and inspect all the arms and screws to ensure that they are in place and secured. Once again, work your way inwards. Check the LED covers are secure and that there is no damage on your arms that could hinder the performance of the aircraft. Now check your landing gear is secure and all screws are in place. Check that all the wiring is secured and no damage to your antennas. We can now inspect the vision positioning system. Check that the sensors are clean and free of any dust. Lastly, let's check the gimbal. Make sure that the gimbal is secured and that there is free movement. Check that the lens is also clean. You have now completed your aircraft's pre-flight. Let's move over to the controller. Start your pre-flight by checking your battery level. With the controller still powered off, inspect the other buttons and joysticks for full and free movement and that no buttons stick in place once pushed down. Inspect the overall condition of the controller to ensure there is no significant damage. Your remote controller must always be powered on before you power on your aircraft and should be the last to be powered off. As a safety tip, ensure your controller is on before you cross the safety line. Let's move over to the battery. Firstly, check the battery level without powering on the battery itself. Now inspect the overall condition for any cracks or damage and most importantly, ensure there is no visible swelling of the battery pack. Inspect the contacts for any signs of melting or lodged objects. When inserting the battery pack into the drone, ensure you hear a click and the pack is secured. You have now completed your pre-flight checks of your aircraft, remote controller and battery pack.